Okay, after installing the other the Red Hat Auto Responder Series Maker, um, uh, you, you you may get an, an error message that's similar to this. For example, here I go and start um, the program, and um, uh, where is it? Let me see if I can get rid of this. Okay, so you get the error message. Um, could not find the Java to runtime environment. Um, okay, now in order to get um, this um, to to run, what is the program is actually saying is that it's run, it's looking for the the Java runtime environment, and um, it's not finding um, that. Okay, a simple solution here um, is this is going to require for you to go into your reg registry editor or reg edit. Now, depending on what version of Windows you have, you can simple Google um, how to find regedit, that is R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and um, it is um, in Windows XP, you simply go to run, you simply click on run, and, um, um, and you can get regedit. Here, let me see if I can move my screen here. Um, no, not this one. Come on. Simply go to um, start, um, click run, and type in reg edit, and click OK, and then you'll get this screen. That is in Windows 7. Um, cancel. Okay, I do not want to do that at this time. So um, let's go back to um, the recording here. Okay, but this this screen would come up. Um, in Windows, in Windows version eight, you can do a search for Reg Edit, and for Windows seven, um, you can also look up how to get into a registry. Okay, so you can simply go to Google, type in how to go to Reg Edit, and basically you come to this same screen. Okay, now what we want to do now at this time is that we want to come to um, this location, and how we get to this location is that first we click on, on um, this, then we go select software, then we select Java SOP, and then we, we select Java environment, okay? And that would bring us there. Okay, so here, if we go back, um, if we go back here, um, uh, we'll see um, here we go to um, file, okay? So here we have um, local machine, okay? So you click on local machine, okay then this uh, menu would, would open up this string would open up then next you go you look for software and you click on software and this would open up and then you scroll down here and you go to um, um, javasoft okay you go to javasoft click on javasoft and then this would open okay and finally we are we are we want to be which is the java a uh, runtime environment Okay, so just as a reminder, it is right here. Um, you click on this, then you click on this, then you click on this, then you click on Java runtime environment. Okay, now here you see that for the Java environment, runtime environment, I have 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 these are all the different Java environments that have been installed on my, um, uh, on my machine. Now, the latest one I have will be 1.7, okay? Now, the one that the software was compiled on, and I'm sure that it would work with, is 1.6 but when I click here on current version okay if I double click here on current version it tells me that right now um, the current version I have is 1.7 okay so if I change this now to 1.6 let's place here 1.6 instead and press OK and go back now to run the software um, this is what happens okay see that the software is opening up as it did before but instead of getting the error message Okay, instead of getting the error message, um, this time I get the, um, you know, the program opens, um, the program opens up, you know, the normal way that it should. Okay, so then afterwards you can go that way. Okay, so again, you know, once again, if you're getting, uh, once again, if you're getting the Java runtime to error, um, simply um, get to your registry editor and be careful here. You get a lot of warning in that respect. Um, go to your registry editor and um, navigate down from um, HK local machine to software to Java soft to Java runtime environment. You click on Java runtime environment, then you double click on the current version and, um, and place, make sure you have that version 1.6 there. If not, um, go to the 
do a search for Java Runtime um, version 1.6, install Java 1.6, and you indicate 1.6 here, and this software should open and run um, as normal.